Time now for our cultural interlude and once again we head to the French Riviera for the latest from the Cannes Film Festival. Well, Jeannie Godula joins us live from the Croisette. Uh, Jeannie, a very good afternoon to you. Now, we're over halfway through the festival now. We've seen some great films so far. Uh, tell us about what's being screened today. Hi, Rochelle. Well, the first film that really stood out for me in competition today is called Personal Shopper. Now, this is a film by French director Olivier Assayas, and it stars Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart, who is one of the hottest actresses here in Cannes this year, because you might remember she also starred in the opening night film Cafe Society by Woody Allen. Now, she has also acted with Olivier Assayas in the past. She was in his film Clouds of Sils Maria, where she played the assistant to a superstar actress played by Juliette Binoche. In this film, she plays an assistant, again, the person shopper of the title, but the movie is really all her. She's in almost every single scene. She plays a young American in Paris who is also mourning the recent death of her twin brother. It's a bit of a fashion meets ghost story. Take a look. You are staying here to mourn. No, I'm waiting. I told you I was waiting. What are you waiting for? So we made this oath. Whoever died first would send the other a sign. A sign? From, from the afterlife? You could call it that. You could call it a million things. Well, in this film, French director Olivier Assayas, it gives us a sort of blend of a film d'auteur, a very uh, canny independent film, and a horror movie. And I have to admit, Rochelle, there are quite a few scary moments in this movie that certainly had me jumping out of the seat. Uh, in true Assayas fashion, though, at the end of it, you still don't really know exactly what happened. In any case, that's what interested the star, Kristen Stewart. And she talked a bit more about this ghostly element at the press conference today. Let's listen. Do I believe in ghosts? I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, I guess I, just, I believe in something. It provides a thought process that is uh, interesting for about five minutes, and then if you overthink it, it actually is so debilitating that that's why this movie is scary. It's a ghost story, sure, but this, it's the supernatural aspects of it just lead you to, you know, the very base questions, which is like, um, am I making this up right now? Is this current reality um, even such a thing? Well, Kristen Stewart has certainly come a long way since her uh, twilight days. Um, now, Jeannie, there's a, a Spanish film in competition today called Julieta. It's uh, from uh, festival favourite Pedro Almodova. Uh, tell us a bit more. Indeed, Pedro Almodova, Spain's most famous director, he won the Oscar for the best foreign film in the year 2000 for All About My Mother, which is a really charming film. He's made 20 films in all. This new film is actually his fifth in competition here in Cannes, but Almodova is a bit always a bridesmaid, never a bride. He's never won the top prize, the Palme d'Or. Now, the film already came out in Spain about a month ago, but interestingly, Rochelle, Almodova at that time canceled all press around the film because his name was linked to those infamous Panama Papers financial scandal that came out about a month ago. He is here in Cannes, however, today. He did give a press conference, or is giving it as it's going on right now behind me as we speak in the Palais. Here again in this theme, Julieta, we find a lot of Almodovar's favorite themes of women and their issues. Let's take a look at the film. Que había bajado a la ciudad a comprarle cosas a sus hijos, que tiene tres, dos chicos y una chica. Sí, no sé cómo se las arregla. ¿Tú tienes hijos? No, no, ni siquiera me he casado. Es una lástima, pero tengo mucha prisa. La verdad no sabes cuánto me alegro de verte también, Julieta. And finally, Jeannie, this is very, very exciting. Uh, you've been having a little chit chat with a, a legendary director. It's true. It is one of the really fun things about being down here in Cannes is getting to meet some fantastic legends. We had a chance to interview Woody Allen earlier at the festival. Well, I also got a chance to talk to director Steven Spielberg. Spielberg, a man that we hardly need to introduce anymore, but just for the pure pleasure of it. He's the man who's produced and directed blockbuster after blockbuster, Jaws, Raiders of the Lost Ark, E.T., Schindler's List. The list does indeed go on and on. Spielberg is no stranger here to Cannes. He was the president of the jury about three years ago, and also he screened his movie, E.T. Here in Cannes, 
34 years ago. Now, in this new movie, the BFG, the Big Friendly Giant, we find some echoes of E.T. We have these same themes of a, of a creature who makes friends with a little orphan girl, how they create their forbidden friendship. Um, it has some really charming moments in it. But it was a world premiere, and even though he is Steven Spielberg, it's still a movie he's showing for the first time to the world. So when I got to meet him, I asked him if he still gets nervous at these kind of events. Here's what he had to say. I was nervous boarding the airplane to get here. I was nervous getting off the plane. I was nervous coming to the, to, to, to the you know, to the Carlton. Um, I was very nervous when I got out of the car with all the, with all the glitterazzi. And then, of course, once we got to the top of the red carpet, I felt right at home here in Cannes. What really touched me in BFG is that scene where he's getting bullied by the bigger, stronger yeah. giants. Were you ever bullied as a kid? Yeah, I was bullied in high school, in elementary school. I was bullied. And, um, and I can relate to that. And um, uh, um, obviously it's a scene I, I, I sort of did from my own memory. Uh, but uh, I was never bullied that way. I was never taken to the top of a hill, stuck on a garbage truck, and sent hurling toward two cars coming at me like roller skates. I was never bullied that way. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> but the movies allow us to take our own life and magnify it and, and exaggerate it and make it more than it ever was. And you can catch the full interview with Steven Spielberg at 9.15 p.m. French time. OK, I'll be watching that one, Jeannie. Thanks very much. Uh, Jeannie Godula there in Cannes with the latest uh, from the Cannes Film Festival.